Ready? Oh, it's filming now. Oh. What's up, makers? Welcome back to our channel. Thank you so much for joining us. We're super stoked to share this with you. Three simple rubber band tricks you can freak your friends out with. Or if you're one of those Instagram junkies, check this out. You're uh, really gonna enjoy it. All right, so that was the performance for the first one, uh, rubber band up the nose, or as Alan likes to call the snot rocket. Yes. Uh, this is one of my favorite ones. If you're babysitting, this is a great one to show kids, and then uh, you get to whack, see them whack themselves in the face, and it's hilarious. Okay, don't do that. Don't, don't, don't do that. Uh, so when it comes to rubber band tricks, generally you'll see a magician with a bunch of rubber bands around the wrist, and this is part of the secret. Uh, for the snot rocket, it's super simple. So if you have a bunch around your wrist, you're just gonna pull out one, grab onto it. So now you have this crazy tensioned loop around your wrist up to this non-tensioned part. So what's great about this is all you have to do is pull up on that non-tensioned part, you know, just like you're stretching a rubber band, hold it up to your nose, and then all you have to do is let go and let it spring back to your wrist. Uh, this is one of the easiest things you can do. Uh, it takes very little setup and you can usually do it under the guise of while you're talking to somebody, uh, take off the, the rubber band, pull it up, and if you hold it close to your nose, sniffing upwards at the same time as letting it go will get you the results you want. So again, you just pull it out, pinch towards the bottom. So now you have this untensioned loop plus all this tension going on here, pull it up and snip up as you let go. And then you can act like, oh gosh. Kids love that one. All right, so that was the rising ring. It's one of my favorites. Uh, it's very underrated and people kind of push it to the side when it comes to simple magic tricks and things that'll freak people out. But as you saw in the performance, if you watch it back, there's one fellow who was looking over his shoulder staring at me what I was doing. So uh, let's get into it and how to do it yourself. For this, all you need is a rubber band. I just happen to have a ring. Uh, which makes it easier. You can borrow a ring from somebody. Or if you're one of those other people and you're in a coffee shop, use a straw. Uh, all you have to do is take the straw out of the wrapper and I'll probably show it off with this. Vanish. Uh, if you take the wrapper, just fold it in half, you get the same effect. You can do this with a pin cap. I've seen people do it. So we have this. Um, this is our setup, literally just rubber band and the straw. Let's show you how to do it. Uh, so as you're prepping it, you're stretching a rubber band, showing it's all tensiony and it's springy and rubbery, things like that. What you're gonna do is hold back a small portion of the rubber band while pulling out the rest. So similar in the first effect where you had the untensioned loop, <clears throat> you're gonna have a kind of the reverse effect where you're hiding the untensioned part and showing the part that does have it. So with it just like that, loop your straw wrapper over it, probably towards the bottom, usually with uh, an object that has more, uh, less slip and more friction, it'll look a lot better. And all you're gonna do, I'm gonna show you from this end, is you're gonna slowly release your grip on the untensioned end. And as that happens, the rubber band will start pulling itself all the way up apart. 
It looks pretty cool with the straw wrapper. And as it keeps slipping, it'll travel upwards, 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 as you let go of that untensioned part. So without me showing you that part again, let me stick that there. I'm gonna slowly release my tension on that rubber band as the straw climbs its way up to my other hand. And because you're pinching it between your thumb and your index finger, you can control how fast it goes, and it obviously travels from one end to the other. And so that's the uh, rising ring. All right, and that was the third effect called the uh, jumping band. A lot of people really enjoy this one. It's super underground and not a lot of people do that anymore. If you're one of those Instagram junkies, this is really awesome to kind of throw up on your feed because nobody expects it. Uh, so let's get into it. Uh, so if you check around your wrist, uh, and if you're a rubber band magician, you'll see a bunch of rubber bands, and this is where the source of our power will come from. Uh, what you're gonna do is you're gonna take a band and you're going to pull it out as far as you can. Uh, so now you got this weird loop going on around one finger. And with your hands splayed out, just simply turn your wrist over. So now you got two bands going across the crotch of your thumb. Uh, you have a weird pad right here on your thumb and as well as to the side of your index. So with this all stretched out, all you're gonna do is pinch it right there. You're gonna lock those two pads together. So you have a lot of tension back here and uh, not as much here. So now you have this loop going on, this almost triangle-like pattern. These four fingers are gonna go down towards the ground and up through that loop. Again, so you have this going on. It's gonna go down and back through this loop. Meanwhile, your thumb and the pad of your index are gonna pinch those two bands. So we're here, turn your hand upward, pinch there, and in this giant loop, swoop your hand underneath and through. So now from the front, it looks like you just have a rubber band wrapped around the palm of your hand. From the back, you can see kind of, there's a bunch of tension here, a bunch of tension here. And all you're gonna do is let go of your thumb and the rubber band's gonna jump up and around. So, with that in mind, if you do it again, pull through the thumb crotch, pinch it, fingers go up and through the loop, through the loop, and back around, get this. So now, if you take an object like a deck of cards, a phone, somebody else's hand, and if you let go of your thumb, it get loops. It loops all the way around. It's really neat when you get this going. It's really neat when you get this going and uh, you get it all set up, and you have somebody place their hand on top of yours, and you snap your fingers, and it gets looped around theirs. They'll freak out. So again. Slow motion, really quick, for those who need it. Turn your hand upward, lock it in there. Fingers go through the loop. And if you, here's a pro tip, don't splay your fingers out like that because they're gonna wonder why your thumb's stuck there. Keep your fingers together and relax your hand a little bit. Make it look more natural. So that way you go one, two, whoop, one, two, three, whoop and it gets locked around. And uh, that's the jumping band. Thank you guys so much for joining us on this tutorial. Remember, if you enjoyed uh, what you saw, let us know down in the comments below and uh, give us a thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button if you're not part of our community yet. We have a lot of things coming up, uh, more performances, at the tables, tutorials, whatever you wanna see, let us know. Uh, join our social media at Makers Magic Official. And uh, let's go crazy. And if you're not too scared, give us a shot. See you guys later. Keep making that magic.